want to talk to you about Apologia Elementary Science. This is written by Jeannie Fulbright, uh, employing Charlotte Mason methodology and immersing the student into a single topic for one school year. These you might know as the Young Explorer series or exploring creation with astronomy or botany or zoology. All the same series. When you hear people talk about that, they're all referring to the same thing. Written for the K through six crowd, um, they're a great introductory to science. If you're using this course, there are some different components you need to know about. First of all, the textbook. Textbook is really important. It's the core of the program. It'll tell you how to use it in the front of the book. Um, all the good information is there to kind of help you be able to do the course. And I'll talk to you a little bit later about how you can add to it, but in the course itself, if you follow the instructions in the front of the book, it'll tell you how to use it as a standalone course. So if you don't wanna buy everything that goes with it, it's okay, you can use just the textbook. Along with it though, if you want a workbook, you have options. You have a notebooking journal and a junior notebooking journal. The junior notebooking journal is for the K through two group, and then third through sixth has a regular notebooking journal. Both of them have copy work, and they give the students a place to write their information down. In the younger crowd, you're gonna have coloring pages. Um, it's, no, it's exactly what it says it is. It's a notebooking journal. A third component that you can get to go along with your course, these are great for the auditory learner. These are audio CDs. Now remember, these are an MP3 format, so you can't play them on a regular CD player. They'll only play on MP3 compatible player, typically your computer, or if you have a CD player that says MP3 compatible. But these are a narration of the text, perfect for that auditory person that maybe can't sit and read. Now, children who are fourth grade and up could probably read these books. Um, otherwise, mom is going to, mom or dad or an older student could sit and read the text to the student. A fourth component are, and these are a convenience product, these are the lab kits. Lab kits are, most of them are made by Nature's Workshop, specifically aligned to each one of the courses. This is something that you can buy to have all of your lab supplies in one place. Otherwise, you can go get the lab supplies yourself. This series is written from a strong creationist viewpoint, so you're gonna find scripture throughout the books. Um, Apologia recommends spending an entire year on each book. Um, starting with astronomy, botany, zoology one, two, or three. Save the chemistry and physics and the human anatomy and physiology for a little bit older level, like maybe fourth and up, because it gets a little more in depth when it gets into the topics. The lesson format, in every lesson, you're gonna find notebooking activities, you'll find projects, you'll find activities, you're gonna find narration very Charlotte Mason in some of the, the aspects of the lessons. If you're using the notebook, again, that notebook can be emphasized. It gives you a place to write. It gives you a place to do these activities. But if you're not using the notebook, you can always do it on your own paper. Have a child learn to keep their own science notebook. The activities and the lessons are not just busy work. They're intended to help kids learn the concept or reinforce the concept that's been taught in that particular lesson. And so kind of a fun way to make sure the kids are really learning exactly what you just taught them. The intent is for the parent to read the book. Uh, and because they are for a K through six crowd, if you have multi-grade level students, this is perfect. You can use it with kids who are in all of these different grade levels. Very nice. You can read to all of them as a group. You can do the activities that work well for some of your children. Maybe you have children who aren't going to do all of the activities. That's all right too. Um, but it gives you the option to work with several different grade levels all at one time. Um, that's where the, it's nice to have the junior notebooking journal and the regular notebooking journal. I have kids at two different grade levels. It's okay. They correspond. So I can still have them working on the same concept within that lesson, just using it at their grade level, at age appropriate grade level. If you choose to do zoology two or three before you do zoology one, 
that's okay, but understand that there are some concepts taught in zoology one that are that will be assumed in zoology two and three. That being said, what you should probably do if you choose to do that, maybe your child has more of an interest in swimming creatures than they do flying creatures, and you want to start with zoology too. Just know that maybe you're going to run across some classification or something like that that you've never heard of before or you've never seen. So look things up on the internet. Keep a good science encyclopedia on hand uh, just to be able to look things up and to clarify things that you might be unclear about. If you have any questions after you watch this, maybe you don't quite understand the sequence of the program uh, or content, give us a call. Ask for a consultant. Our toll-free number is 888-841-3456. You can email us at consultants at rainbowresource.com or you can live chat with us at our website Monday through Friday, 830 to 5. Go to rainbowresource.com and click that chat button.